you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And if you can hear, we are going shopping with the family at the Goodwill Thrift Store. Let's go shopping. So we have the whole family and we are here because we are doing a challenge. Well, I guess we're doing something. James and I are going on a date um, and we did a like challenge, a date challenge where we scratch off a date and the date that we picked today, we have to dress kind of like how we did in high school. So I am actually looking for a polo to pop. Um, preferably like a Hollister or Abercrombie and Fitch polo because that is what I dressed in. I had gaucho pants and khaki skirts and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. James on the other hand was grunge and slash emo slash a few other things. So this will be interesting what we can find. And then maybe I will do some shoe shopping for inventory while we're here. It's gonna be interesting though with the kids. Uh, so I did find a couple different polo options. This blue Air Apostle, um, which was totally in when I was in high school. And then this one is just white stag, but it might fit a little bit better. This one is definitely like that, like teenage type short cap sleeve style though that I wore in high school where my arms were a little bit skinnier so I don't know we'll see and now I'm in the skirts because I definitely wore khaki skirts here's like a corduroy khaki this is actually kind of cute eh. all right so I will take a look through here and then <clears throat> I did find a couple things for resale this 100% silk scarf with these elephants on it. It is marked Newsweek. Here is a leather rock belt for $2.99. Leather rock right here. This is a really, really nice quality leather belt brand. This is like a vintage statement silver tone belt. This one is by the brand Cabby. Again, right there with the small B. Leather belt. And yeah, let's go look at skirts. Okay, we're having a look here. I think, I think we have a winner. Khaki skirts. If it was like Hollister brand or something, I think it would be even better, but it's not. And I think I'm gonna go find some chunky white sunglasses. Show me what you got, James. So, I got the basic grunge flannel. Yeah. Yep. I'm not exactly happy with this picture to you. Looking for something maybe a little more band to you in nature, but something along these lines. Cheesy to the point. Now just need the wall cheese. So Annalise found another buzz, of course. Found these cute little Nike Air um, tennis shoes that aren't her size, so we might keep them. And now I'm gonna just look through some shoes. She's my little helper. Here's some Corso Como. I do like selling this. It is $10 though, so that is a little bit pricier. I did find these Minnetonkas. I think they're brand new. Like they still have that little tag there. These are $10. I hear my Pemberley. There they go. So I am going to get the Minnetonkas, I think. We're in the boot section. Here's some LL Bean boots. This is like a staple. So if these were at the bins, I would pick them up. But here they are 20 bucks. Actually, they are half off. Eh, I'll think about it because then there'll be $10. So yeah, I think so, maybe. So I am looking for some Y2K 
preferably those big chunky white sunglasses you know what I'm talking about Ooh, I don't think I left up there. these ones those pink. okay you can put those on these pink? yeah right? yeah you can try them on Joe Boxer. These look Y2K to me. Oh, with that little flower on the side. Oh, look at these. So cute. What is this? Bears with a mustache? Here, put it, put it on your, on your head. Wow, it's like a beard on you. How much is it? Two ninety nine. It's a little pricey for dress up. Look at these. These are either vintage or vintage style. I did put back those LL Bean boots, but I did find these Bastine boots, but husky, like Eskimo type boots, and there are some pretty good comps on these. So I did grab those. Grab this little toy for Gideon, 99 cents. It's like a recyclable plastic, which is like a nicer quality and doesn't mold and stuff. So got that, and um, could not find any sunglasses that I liked. But I also know that one thing that was popular, I don't know why, I don't know if it was just like a private girl, school girl type thing, <laughs> but we wore knee-high socks, but like nylon knee-high socks. Uh, we thought we were cool, and yeah, so this is the style we're going for so far. What does it say? <laughs> Are you talking about her pony? T her no, pony? No, this is not a pony. It's a unicorn. Oh. So I wanted to show how stinking cute these are. These are by the brand Brighton. So these look to be a newer style. I don't sell Brighton shoes. Thank you. Um, I don't sell Brighton shoes um, very well. So I'm not gonna grab these, but I just wanted to show you guys. This looks like the new label. These are so cute. I might just look these up just because I'm curious, but they're so cute. Okay, so we did drop off the kids. <clears throat> well, and my husband, nobody's with me now. And I did come by myself to the Salvation Army and I want to try to find some white chunky sunglasses. I think that's totally Y2K. I found a purse that's also Y2K in the back. Um, I will show you when this is all done. So let's go ahead inside to Salvation Army. I definitely want to look behind the counter for the jewelry. I've been doing a great job with finding jewelry lately at the Salvation Army. Like that Roman glass, Art Deco, Locket, um, what else? I don't know. I just feel like I've been doing a great job finding things and they've been selling it quickly. So let's go on inside. So here we are at the sunglasses. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? What? They're broken. Oh. But they are like studded craziness. I think I might get these. Let's look through. Oh, 
dropped one. This one's broken already. I did find this purse as I'm passing it. It is a patent leather. These jewels caught my attention. It's by the brand The Find. So I'm seeing some good prices on eBay for this brand. I'm just gonna look it over and I think I'm gonna grab it. Even though I really don't particularly like selling purses, I think orange will do well and it is a very nice quality feeling purse. Really nice hardware. Eh, there is a little bit of a patent leather stain right there, but it's very minor. I'm going to be looking through the belts over here. This is the store that I found that um, Triumph belt. And this looks like possibly L.L. Bean. Let's see. Yeah, the prices of the belts are a little bit more expensive here. So it doesn't look like it has a maker. Just handmade, written size 30. They have it for $4.99 color of the day is purple Columbia for eight bucks hmm. all right so I think I am going to be get these sunglasses even though they are broken just because they are like perfect um, I'm gonna ask though if they can give me a discount because they are priced at three dollars for broken sunglasses so we'll see oh doesn't that look like sterling silver Let's see what this one is. This is Gap. So vintage Gap. What? So six bucks. Yeah, I would pick that up if it wasn't six dollars. Here is another. Hmm. What is that? Eddie Bauer. Again, six dollars. Okay, we are over by the shoes because I could not find any belts that were a decent enough price so like I said the last time this short store has a lot of repeats because the shoe section doesn't get changed out that often red $9.99 these look new so Cole Haan purple $8.99 so these would be four bucks I'll leave those. Hmm. So here are some super cute booties, ankle booties with that laser cut work, but they are $14.99. They're super cute. Jessica Simpson, if these were like $5, I'll grab them. These are some suede born ankle booties. $10.99, so we'll not grab those either. I mean. Look at these cute vintage shoes. It says California Mag Dasani, made in Spain. You can tell it's vintage just by that interior, but it's like this pewter color on um, crack print. And these look like they're in pretty great shape, and they are five bucks. I think I'll grab those. Some Kohans, vintage Kohans. Down here, Let's see some soft shoes in the interior is crumbling. Here is some ABO um, clogs. Yeah, they look like they're in pretty good condition. White, eight ninety nine. I'm not gonna grab those. They sell kind of slowly. Yeah, we're going to leave those behind. Sometimes I like picking up that brand if it was cheaper. 
but not for that price. Just because I know it will sit for a little bit. These look like blow fish. Probably. Coach. With this, the logos on the back. So if you see Coach shoes, the logos do um, catch a little bit more attention. There's somewhere right there that can be fixed. These are 15 bucks. I'm going to leave those. I might take a chance on fixing those up if they were like six or seven dollars these look like Burberry are they no they are <laughs> Sh 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 I Schleek? I can't even read it hmm here's some Clark's sandals Looks like we are done with the black over here. Let's go back over to this side. I have one pair of shoes so far, so these look vintage. Dexter. Hmm. Okay, so we made it to the men's section. I'm gonna look through here. I did find some white knee highs. These are very vintage. I'm gonna see if these look better than the black ones I got for my outfit for tonight. And then, um, yeah, I'll look through all the men's shoes. I'm not finding a whole lot today. These are, can't even read that. Those are some vintage Cole Haan shoes. Let's see. So these are the Oxblood color. Made in USA. Flex. These are $15. I'm going to leave them. If these were the bins, I think I would grab them. Even if they are like a little bit vintage and wrinkly. Just because it is this color. And um, I want to find Cordova Cordovan, Cordovan uh, leather shoes one day. I think I found my second pair of shoes. Here are some men's Harley Davidson motorcycle boots. These are a size 10 and they are pretty good shape and they're 15 bucks so definitely gonna grab these I'm gonna list these I think for at least $70 see if they have nope they don't have a steel toe or anything but yeah this is a really nice classic style and there is a branded hardware literally on every single piece of hardware is the logo Harley Davidson even on these little pieces up here. So yeah, we're gonna grab these for sure. Let's see if there's anything else that's new. Since last time, there's those Mephisto boat shoes. I was wondering if I still had some Sperry boat shoes from when I was in high school. Because those are what I wore for a little bit. Um, I don't really think they look that great on me so <laughs> probably should have never even worn them but someone who I had a crush on at the time really liked that look so did wear those these are some Nike pink and purple Reeboks Ooh, Kuru these are a great brand you guys let's see how much these are no soles Let's see. $14.99. Really? Really? They don't have soul insoles. Alright, we're gonna leave them. But if you guys see this brand, pick it up. Okay, we are looking at brooches. I do wanna see um, this buckle. It's right under the light right there. And then there's that brooch. 
a blue one up at the top. I don't even know if you guys can see my finger right there. And then, let's see what else. There is like a really neat salt and pepper shaker brooch. I'm not sure if I looked at that the last time. Oh, look at that little bug right there. Little ladybug. Hmm. Okay, let's see if there's anything new over here. Let's see that black glass black glass beaded bracelet with that red rose looks really pretty hmm. kind of look through the earrings already up at the top I didn't see anything super special that's an interesting clamper back there Look in the bottom. Bangles. And look at this. That brass cuff that has like woven details. That's actually really interesting. I might let's see how much it is. It is $5.99. Hmm. I think I might look at that. I wonder if it has any markings on it. Here is that bracelet. It just says made in India on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see. That's all it says. So I think I'm going to leave that for that price. It's kind of blurry. It's like focusing in on everything underneath. Grabbed these out because I was wondering if they were marked sterling. They're not marked anywhere, so I'm not going to grab those either. So we'll just keep looking through the necklaces. Hmm. It's really pretty down here. That little, oh, you guys can even see this one right here with the mother of pearl. What is this? It has a hang tag, but I can't see what it, the hang tag is. <sighs> Mm -hmm. There's a big massive something right there. Is that a keychain? So yes, the date challenge includes um, getting things to eat for high school. I'm thinking Maybe they, I used to eat hot Cheetos all the time so much that I got acid reflux. I did get baked kind um, To make it healthier <laughs> since I'm dieting, but uh, I might not take that one with me I actually you guys will see I will I will show you guys later what I actually ate in high school all the time And what I drank and then my husband as well. He said grab these things. So I did and then obviously um, You guys I got sushi for us for dinner Yes, we do get grocery store sushi, and uh, I'm pretty particular with where I go to get sushi. I will not go to a gas station or anything. Haven't ever gotten sick, and I've been eating sushi for years. Love it. Probably my favorite. And, yeah. Here we go, we have James ready to go. He absolutely looks the part. <laughs> we have chains for him for his pretend wallet chain. It's actually uh, from my jewelry. <laughs> and yeah, he's definitely grunge ready to go with this preppy private school princess. This is from the inner city Greenwich here. Get some food. So, what I ate all the time is par pomegranate seeds. I would eat pomegranate seeds a lot, and then I would eat pretzel rods with 
Nutella and I would bring a whole jar of Nutella. Yep, ask daddy. I would bring a whole jar of Nutella to school with me before Nutella was, was cool because I would get it from the world market and then let all my friends try it and it was like, it was before Nutella actually was like a big thing. So that's what I would eat together. And then I would drink either um, clearly Canadian or is that, these is Calypso. Not those ones, no. And then what do you eat? Yeah, so a lot of my high school experience eating revolved a particular Mexican restaurant. And so although we didn't eat burritos, I got similar stuff that we got to make. So sour sour straws were a big one that we just made and that's what we always had on the Okay, try it. got into the Nutella. <laughs> Who wants to try a pomegranate seed? Yeah. They're crunchy. Okay. Okay, they're crunchy. Is this? Is this just so delicious? What do you like better? Mama's food, which is the Nutella and the pomegranate seeds or daddy's food? I like the prawns. Yeah, they're I like the top of the oh, stick. And you got spicy. Mm -hmm. Do you like pico de gallo and salsa and chips or mama's food? I like the ARR food. Yeah, see? Was mama cooler than daddy? No. no. <laughs> okay. Listen again. <laughs> Listen. Was Mama cooler than Daddy? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We definitely ended the day with my husband giving me his sweatshirt, which is a total high school thing to do. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and make sure to thrift and live generously. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.